Greetings folks, uh, a quick explanation video today on snap flaps, camber and reflex. We all know what flaps are, that's when the ailerons both go down together or the separate flaps or whatever to slow the plane down or to create more lift. So flaps or flapperons is usually associated with a large movement, especially used on DLG gliders to act as air brakes or on heavy lifting aeroplanes to provide more lift. That's flaps. Now camber is uh, like adding just a tiny little bit of flaps, just a few millimetres, and what that does is increase the cur curvature of the airfoil, which gives more lift to the wing. Often used in thermal gliders, DLGs, things like that, just to give it a little bit more lift when you're in a thermal, enable it to fly slower, but sort of climb in the thermal a bit more. Reflex is the opposite, that is lifting the ailerons up a little bit uh, and that reduces the curvature of the airfoil, uh, makes the wing fly faster. Uh, with DLGs, uh, when you run out of one thermal and you want to go looking for the other thermal, uh, a bit more speed is often useful. So camber is a little bit of down flaps, reflex is a little bit of up flaps. Snap flaps is when you link that movement to the elevator. Now a snap flap mix is often used with an aerobatic plane or the something like a Lafish aerobatic slope sawer. And you can see with mixing in the transmitter, pull the stick back, elevator goes up and the ailerons go down. So you're introducing a little bit of camber when you pull back on the elevator. When you pull back on the elevator you're wanting the nose to go up and by adding a little bit more lift that helps that movement. Or if you're in a tight turn pull the elevator, a little bit more uh, lift from the wing makes it hook into the turn even faster. Pushing forward on the elevator, elevator goes down and the flaps or flapperons go up. And that's reducing the airfoil when the plane's in the upright position, but if you're inverted, you're often pushing forward on the elevator and you're usually getting less lift from the wing because it's designed to fly the other way up. Uh, if you have snap flaps linked in with the elevator, pushing forward to hold the nose up, the flapperons or spoilerons actually are dropping down so that's increasing the curvature of the wing when it's upside down and that helps to fly inverted without having to use so much elevator. Now the way I use uh, snap flaps usually is just to help with inverted flying um, so I do a, a function x is uh, greater than zero which means that it only comes into effect when I'm pushing forward on the elevator stick or the elevator input is more than middle position I guess and that means that the uh, snap flap effect only happens when the plane's flying inverted and I'm pushing forward on the elevator stick. To get these mixes you need separate aileron channels and if you plug the ailerons in the wrong way you'll, you'll find that your snap flaps are working in the wrong direction or your uh, camber and reflex will be reversed basically. Ailerons may still well work in the correct direction but your camber, reflex, snap flaps will be working in the wrong direction. Now to program it up, we well I usually have my ailerons on channel 1 and channel 2. You have to change the weight to make them work in the correct direction. So I'm just going to add a line to channel 1. Edit that line. Now for camber and reflex, I'll choose the left slider. There we go, that's the left slider. And I don't need that expo. So now the aileron is being operated by the aileron stick and the left slider. You can see the response on the screen there. Now that's full movement. I probably don't want that much, so you would have to experiment with how much weight you put to that, maybe 15% or something like that. So I might drop that down to 15. That way I'll just get a little bit of camber and a little bit of reflex on the left slider and I'll copy that down to the other aileron as well and I know that I have to change that weight to be negative. There we go. So that's given me camber and reflex on the left slider. Now for snap flaps, I'll put in another line there, I'll just copy that one, edit it, and instead of the left slider I'm going to use the elevator stick. 
and again you'd have to muck around with the weight to get it to work the way you want but 15 will be a good starting point and again I'm going to copy that to the other aileron and I'll have to change that weight as well so now the aileron is being operated by the elevator stick as well you can see the response in the display there aileron's working normally and using the left slider we've got a little bit of camber and reflex so there we go for camber reflex and snap flaps